Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 14, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to stay on news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. We can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at uh, the US dollar index. And as you can see, it has basically fallen quite heavily towards the downside we are trading at the 91.8 and uh, we got fairly rejected at the 200 moving average and it looks like we're heading towards the 50 at this current stage at the 20 91.5291 to be exact technical indicators are all favoring the downside at this current stage so we will most likely test the 50 before uh, going um, back towards the 200 moving average. The 50 is also where the previous highs were over here and also where we found major support back here. So quite a turnaround in the US dollar index. It looked like we were going to continue towards uh, 100 uh, basically here, but everything has completely changed at uh, the last, uh, well, basically two weeks. So let's look at oil. So oil is, uh, well, it's just uh, at the same place. It is uh, fairly untradeable at this current stage. So we're trading basically in this uh, square. And uh, until we basically break out of this square, this, it is basically untradeable. We have a crossing here at the, the 20 exponential and the 50, which is should be major, um, a very bearish, I was supposed to say. Um, however, other technical indicators are fairly bullish. MACD is underneath the signal line, but is, it is turning around and will most likely cross if uh, we get another day of rallying. The stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. But break above this level here, well, then we could head towards the previous highs at 70, uh, 67. Break below these previ previous lows, then we could head towards the 54. So let's look at an at natural gas so natural gas has had a really nice day we were up in more than two percent nearly three percent as i as we are speaking at this current stage we are top of the bullish band uh, fairly surprising rallying considering the time of year but we are getting fairly overstretched technical indicators are very bullish macd is still in negative territory but has crossed the signal line so is the uh, stochastic and that the CCI is above 100 at this point. There's a lot of room to the upside in the RSI. So if we continue rallying from here, we'll most likely find major resistance up here at the 2.7, which is the 50 moving average. Uh, pullbacks from here, we'll most likely find support at the 200 moving average at the 2.6. So let's look at copper. So copper is uh, hanging on here at the 50 moving average. Uh, we are still uh, waiting to see what basically will happen when we basically uh, get into this uh, corner. Uh, we can see that we have a upward trend line, that basically a downward trend line here, and uh, basically an upward trend line here. And we are most likely going to head to, in towards this corner. And then we're either going to have a breakout to the upside, towards the previous size here or towards the downside. Um, 50 moving average is just underneath here and it has been major uh, support in the past. So considering that, it's probably favoring the upside of this currency. But um, copper has been on a major rally for a really long time. So, so yes, it is to be seen, but uh, it is always just interesting to see what happens when it basically gets crushed into these corners, whether or not it goes to the upside or towards the downside. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, CC, stochastic is bearish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at gold. So gold looked dreadful in the beginning of this trading session, and then it completely turned around. Uh, so we're heading back towards the 50 moving average, which is at 17.55. Technical indicators are all well, very mixed. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, the CCI is uh, actually bullish, and the RSI is very flat at this current stage. Break about the 50 moving average, opens the door to 1800, and also 1850. Break below here, opens the bottom of the bullish band at 1700. So let's look at silver. 
So silver was even more bullish today. We broke above the 20 exponential moving week average. Technical indicators are all turning it around and favoring the upside at this point. If you get another green candlestick here tomorrow, we could head towards the 50 moving week average at $26. Break below the 200 moving week average opens the door to these previous lows of $23. So, so let's look at platinum. So as you can see, we have basically hit the top of the bullion band here a few trading days ago. And since then, we are basically falling back towards a support, which usually is the, the better bottom of the bullion band. At this current stage, it's around 11.30.38. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point indeed. Break below these previous levels here. Well, that could open the door to 1100. Break below 1100 could open the door all the way down to the 200 moving average at the uh, 1.004 but it looks like we're just doing more of the same like rallying towards up to the top of the bullish band break back towards the very bottom and then just continuing this upward trend we were trading underneath the 50 moving average which is not uncommon for uncommon for platinum but uh, at this current stage we need to break several support levels in order to go all the way down to the 200 moving average so let's look at pallium so Pallium uh, continues to test these previous uh, levels here. We have tested it one to uh, around basically uh, seven times, and we have not managed to break above that. So at this current stage, the technical indicators are very bullish, but uh, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that should be uh, quite supportive. If we manage to take out these uh, previous levels here, then we could head towards uh, 2750. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is getting to the top of this range. And usually what happens after that is basically pulls back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is at 22, 27 at this current stage. Uh, very choppy trading of the last few months. Uh, and uh, But it has been uh, fairly uh, predictable. Getting to the top of the bullish band, we have pullbacks, top pullbacks, and so on. And But very very choppy and a lot of uh, gaps towards the upside and also gaps towards the downside so let's look at nickel so nickel we have fallen yet again we got towards the top of the bullish band and now we're breaking back down towards the 200 moving average technical indicators are all favoring the downside pretty much if we, the 200 moving average breaks then we could head towards the 15,000 level and then well be uh, below that rallies from here most likely find a major support uh, resistant at the top of the bullish band at 16,662 or the 50 moving average just above at 17,225 so let's look at sugar so as you can see, we are trading just above the 20 exponential, but it looks just more of the same. We're just not breaking significantly above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this uh, at this point, but breakdowns from here will most likely find major support down at the 200 moving average. Uh, resistance will most likely also be found at the 50 moving average up here at 0 0.1604. So let's look at Cottenham. So Cottenham has uh, basically yesterday broken down and then rallied yet again today. But we're still trading at the 20 exponential. So until we break above that, we could head towards the 50 at the 0 0.84. A breakdown from here could open the door to these previous lows at 0 0.77 and the 20 and the very bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.76 and the 200 moving average at 70, uh, 0 0.72. Sorry. So let's look at uh, Cocoa. So Cocoa has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and got rejected really heavily there. And now we're creating this inverted hammer. Uh, so that usually that is a very bearish shine. We, we have been rejected at the 20 exponential several times in the past. So at this current stage, we could head back towards the uh, very lows here at the 2.323 or the very bottom of the bullish band at the 22.93. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. So a break above the 20 exponential opens the door to the 200 and the 50 up here at the 24.81. So let's look at wheat. 
So weed is uh, trading just between the 20 exponential and the 50. We had tried to rally up towards the 50 and got rejected really heavily there. So this is a very bearish signal uh, uh, or a bearish candlestick. If we break below the 20 exponential, that could open the door all the way back toward the bottom at 600 and the 200 moving average at 594. Technical indicators are, well, fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, Sarcastic is crossing the signal line and becoming bearish. The CCI is bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. Break about the 50, well, that could head, uh, lead us all the way up towards 675. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.